Good morning, everyone. It is snowing in Barrie. Let me know if it is snowing where you are. I have a question that came in from Ben. So what I'm going to do is I'll answer that for you. Um, I'm going to read it, and then what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around and show you what I did to solve that question. All right, so this came in 12 hours ago, which would have been on December 18th, and it looks like the question originally came from an online resource. It says, Janet is at the local pub drinking a white Russian. This cocktail is usually made of coffee liqueur, and then in brackets it says 40 to 50%, cream in brackets 10 to 25 percent and vodka vodka contains 40 percent alcohol and coffee liqueur contains 10 percent alcohol if the whole drink contains 200 milliliters how much alcohol does janet consume by drinking it in milliliters all right Okay, so um, when you look at this question, again, it was posted on uh, January 18th. I'd, I'd, I would rather you just take a look at the question um, right now. The very first thing you want to look at are the numbers because there's a lot of things that um, are happening in this question. You can see that you're working with percents because you have... Um, parts and you have holes, right? And you have the words percent. So for example, just to kind of make it clear, your drink is made up of parts because it's made up of different pieces of alcohol and mix, okay? So each of those pieces is a part. And then what they want you to determine is how much alcohol is in each of those parts and the alcohol is also a percent so really what you're doing is you're determining a percent on a percent um, and then there's a whole lot of like back math that you have to do to answer that question as well okay so um, this is definitely not a beginner level question for those of you who um, are in the beginner level of the math or if you've never um, if you've never written a fire test, um, this is like this is a very complex question, and frankly, I don't think you would see this type of question on a time test because of the amount of time it would take you to answer this question. And if you do see this question on a time test, then I would um, I would caution you in terms of how much time it takes you to work through this particular question. This is the kind of question that I would save to last in that way um that way you're not killing your test time on um, on one question when you could be getting like you know four or five different types of answers in the same amount of time okay so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over the camera and show you the whiteboard and then I'll walk you through how I solve that question all right give me one sec here awesome Okay, so um, with complex questions, I really like to draw them out because I think it's just a visual way for me to process the information. So right up on the top here is where I started and I wanted to determine how many parts of um, the drink were there. So there was the vodka, the cream, and the coffee liqueur. So in total, your drink had three parts. And then each of those parts had a range in terms of how much of it, um, how many milliliters made up that, that total drink. So the coffee, let's see if you can get in there. All right, so the coffee was 40, uh, 40 to 50 percent. The cream was 10 to 25. And then you didn't, you weren't given the vodka. So the very first thing you had to do was add these up and then subtract from the total drink to get the range of um, how much vodka was in your drink. Okay, so you do that first. And then the other information that was given to you is um, the percentage of the alcohol. All right, so I like to keep all of that information in one neat table, if you will, and that way I have a better grasp of what my numbers were. Okay, so then, um, now that you have your parts, you have to figure out how much 
alcohol she consumed if it was consumed in milliliters. So to do that, you have to determine how much, I'm gonna use the vodka example here, how much of the um, drink was um, was alcohol, okay? So if your vodka was 40%, then how much of your 50 milliliters is 40%? And the reason why we have 50 milliliters is because, don't forget, vodka is only a quarter of the drink. So your whole is not 200 milliliters on the vodka. Your whole is 50 milliliters because at most, that is the maximum amount of vodka she can have in her drink. And then you have to determine the percentage of the alcohol of that vodka. So that's what we did in this calculation here. Okay, so uh, 20 milliliters of the 50 milliliters was, of vodka was 40% alcohol. Um, if you guys, I know you're watching, Eric and Lyndon and Frankie, can you just give me a high five or a thumbs up and let me know if that makes sense to you so far? Because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to go forward if you're still confused. So just give me um, a high five or a thumbs up to let me know that yes, you understand this part here in terms of how I calculated the 20, the 50 to 25 percent. And then I want to make sure that you're okay here in terms of how you're calculating the percentage. So if you can hear me and um, if you're following along, let me know if. Um, if you have any questions. Okay, so next up is the coffee liqueur, and I did exactly the same math, but the difference is the amount of coffee liqueur changed, and it changed because the uh, ratio of the, or the amount of the coffee in the drink is 40 to 50 milliliters. Okay, oh yeah, one more thing. Because of this range here, you basically have to figure out these calculations twice. So this is the higher range, um, and then this is the lower range. And when you're doing this math, keep, keep these numbers in line. So the numbers that are covered by the marker there, these guys right here, that's this calculation. And then these numbers right here is this calculation, and that's how you get the range, okay? So don't mix up, um, don't mix up your ranges and that that information comes from the question okay so coming back to the coffee liqueur you can only have a maximum of 100 milliliters of coffee liqueur because the maximum is 50 percent 50 percent of 200 milliliters or half of 200 milliliters is 100 milliliters that's the maximum amount of coffee she can have coffee liqueur she can have in her drink now 10 percent of the coffee liqueur is alcohol so you need to figure out what the 10 percent of the uh, 100 milliliters is so you're going to do that and then you're going to come up with the 10 milliliters now you have to add this up 20 milliliters plus 10 milliliters gives you 30 milliliters. So at this range, when the parts are in this range, and when you consider the percentage of alcohol, she's drinking 30 milliliters of alcohol. Okay, so now to get the second part, you have to go down and do the same calculation, only this time you're using this range of numbers, okay? Don't forget there's that, um, that range that was given to you. So now we needed to determine 40% uh, of the 200 milliliters and 50% of the 200 milliliters. And um, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to do that. And that'll give you, uh, I did the 50 first because it was easier. So 50% 50, 50 of 200 milliliters is 100. And then the vodka, um, percentage added on will give you 40 milliliters of pure alcohol all right and then moving over here you had to figure out what 40 percent of 200 was first and then once you get that that'll give you your whole amount here and then you go ahead and add or sorry calculate your percentage and that'll give you the eight milliliters of alcohol on the coffee liqueur side then the last thing you have to do is go ahead and add those up again. So 40 milliliters plus 8 milliliters is 48 milliliters. So 
Um, if she has a drink that is made up in these three parts, that is anywhere between this range and that range in milliliters of alcohol, she could be drinking anywhere between 30 milliliters and 48 milliliters of alcohol. All right, cheers to that. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you caught that all. And again, um, I wouldn't sweat this type of question, but I would definitely make sure you know how to find the part, the whole, and the percent in percent questions because um, you'll be tested on that for sure. Um, all right, folks, that is it for me for 2019. Happy holidays to all of you. Next week, there will not be a live video. Uh, but there will be in the new year. So look for me in the in the new year And if you're working over this holiday, thank you so much for your time and effort. Please drink responsibly uh, responsibly and uh, as always um, Drive safely. Okay. Bye guys